Alright y'all, what's up? It's your girl Shiny B. If you're cool with your girl, fool with your girl, you know I'm back in the studio here at KMWI-Media. I got a cast with me today. It's going to be beautiful. So today is August the 18th, guys. It's a happy Sunday and I'm here to share the platform that I always share for people that want to sh show support and just educate people and, you know, show nothing but love. So if you want to call in, feel free to do it at any point in time. The number is 203 802-5694. We're going to be in here. Tell all your friends to hit the live streaming link on the website so they can see us popping with our melanin. Okay. So today we're going to have the cast of the stage play office drama they're going to introduce themselves um shout out to ironic state Pro stage productions that's putting on this beautiful play with these cast members man it's gonna be popping make sure you guys go get your tickets if you haven't you can um call the box office at 972-252-7558 you can google it it's gonna be going down in los colinas at the um Irvin arts center right Yes. I say right. Okay, this girl is good. Oh, I'm yeah. good. <laughs> All right, so we're going to let them introduce themselves and their cast names, um, and then we're going to play that game because we got to get in their business. Go ahead. Who want to go first? You. Me. Yeah, I'm you. Go first. No, hey, done. everybody. It's your girl, April Bonet Sunshine. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for having us on the Anytime. show, Shiny B. Um, I'm really excited about being a part of this production. And I can't wait to tell everybody about it, but I just wanted to say my name is April Bonet Sunshine. I'm glad to be here. What's your cast name? Uh, Maggie. Maggie. Yes, I play Maggie. Maggie. Ugh, Maggie. Um, in so many words, Maggie is me. Okay. Maggie is like my alter ego, mm. but dumbed down a little bit because she don't always get it all the way. Okay. But she's very Maggie. flirtatious. Ooh. Yes, and she has no problem reading you when she understands that she's being read first. Because <laughs> sometimes she okay. don't realize that she's, she's like feisty. being read. Yeah, she's a little feisty. Okay. Uh, she's flirtatious, but at the end of the day, she's very loving and caring. But at the same time, she just she's her own. She's in her own world. Okay, Maggie, 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 Maggie. it is. And then slide one more chair down. Introduce yourself. Oh yes. Hey, how y'all doing? You ready? Okay. <laughs> Come on, Barry White. I'm Mary, Mary Henson. I play Officer Swole. Officer Swole. Top flight security. Okay. Okay. Other okay. word, flashlight cop of the century. Gosh, you, that's how you rolled up on the people. I just didn't know. I didn't know. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Everybody in the world coming yeah. down to the stage. Yeah. Okay. And then further down, introduce yourself. How you doing? I'm Rodney Gamble Jr. You go by RJ Prince. I will be playing Inancio. Nice. He is the very friendly janitor of the building. Hey, he's bilingual. Oh, um, so yes, yeah, so fancy. He, yes, he speaks a little Spanish and, and a little hood. You know, he's so. one of Maggie's pieces. Yes, yeah. <laughs> nasty. She be flirting with me. I like it. She be flirting with me. I like that. Okay, so there you have just a few of the cast members. We're gonna have some call in, but I just want you kind of see the personalities that these characters are gonna have. Yes. So, okay, Boogie, you ready to get in their business? I'm ready to get in their business. That was fine. So we're going to have this game, y'all. Y'all don't know what the questions are. This is what makes it that much more fun. Mm. So here we go. Yes. You are tuned into this game called Let's Know A Lot About You. And guess what? <laughs> You're going to win absolutely nothing at all. We're just going to get all in your business. So... These questions are just regular. It's going to be some ors, and I just want to know what you prefer the best. If you want to tell why, that's cool, too. So first up, do you prefer Martin or Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Martin all day long. Martin, okay. No, I got to go Fresh Prince. Okay, Sunshine. Martin. Martin. Okay. I got to go with Martin. I can watch that 25 times and you find know. a new scene. Hey. <laughs> I lost nothing, y'all won nothing. Right, so. right. We <laughs> even. <laughs> you so. don't lose. <laughs> Do you prefer cashing a check or having direct deposit? Direct deposit. 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 
You, you want the bag? You, want the bag. you don't want the government to know? Okay. I feel you. Get them, Uncle Sam. They, they too know. They'll see what I'm carrying. Yeah. I, don't, you know, okay. don't make no I want direct deposit quick, fast, in a hurry. Now, the toilet tissue question I always have to ask people is, do you want your toilet tissue to come over or do you want it to come under? It don't make no difference going down the same way. Okay. <laughs> Toilet's clogged. Okay. Which one for you? <laughs> Need it over. Over, okay. So it's gotta be over. Okay. Over. I gotta tear it right, you know. It, right. I yeah, think mine go, yeah. is over. Cause under you got to do too much to get yeah, to. Yeah, and then if it's under, then it means if you like, you know, pull too hard, right. some of it it's going to trash, it's going to hit the ground, floor. and you're going to waste more t- tissue. Cause I'm gonna tear it off. That's what I'm talking about. So I got to have yeah. it over. It's, it's a, this is a life decision. It's, this breaks up homes if you don't have it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you prefer corn taco or flour taco? Sunshine. Corn taco, baby. Hallelujah. That's racist. Okay, well, corn taco. Corn. 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 I'm going to say flour. Ooh, uh, kick him out. Why you want flour? Kick me out going to. I already got my face on camera. I did. <laughs> Mute this mic. <laughs> um, I got to have my corn. It's just a texture thing for me. I can't deal well, with that flour. Well, it depends on what it is. If it's tacos, mm. it's got to be corn. Okay. Now, if it's a burrito, it to be flour. You know what? Right. You're right. right. I'm preaching sense. right now. You're I'm right. loving somebody You're right. today. You're right about right. that. Right. Right. Somebody yeah. try to wrap a burrito on some corn to tea. No. That would be funny. You got to have that corn to it. Yes, because I made a stuffed burrito today, but it was with flour, and it was so crispy. <laughs> Dang, y'all act like I can't cook enough. Y'all some haters. Well, um, you sure you didn't fry that? I, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you prefer wireless headphones or like the wires coming down? Wireless. 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 The wire got to come down because that wireless stuff, the Bluetooth thing, I can't do it. You have yes. to keep buying yeah. another one over and over again. Right. Nah. With the one with the wires, plug nah. it in and keep moving. Well, See, I'm like, know. I got to use my wireless because I sometimes I don't be playing no music. I just don't want nobody talking to me. <laughs> and what, <laughs> if it, what if it don't plug in the thing? And now I'm caught. You, you know, I got to have right. wireless. I got um, wireless. I'm kind of on both sides. I really have a lot of wireless things, uh, but when you lose it, it's gone. So it's kind of like, uh, that wire be getting my nerves. Well, like, like, I, I, no, it's I like, like the wire when I'm in the studio recording. Okay. Yeah. So you're dropping bars on these kids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, a little sum. He said a little sum, sum. Yeah, he tried to plug himself in. Uh, do you prefer gas? <laughs> that was so goofy. Do you prefer <laughs> gas, utilities, or electric? Electric. Electric. I'd rather have gas. Okay. Because when you no cook your food, you cook it evenly when you cook it Hello. Gas. I've had electric all my life, and then now I have gas, and I, I should have had gas all my life what because gas you? is quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, if you leave then it the on after the tick, you keep that pot in it. You're going to blow up. But right, when lights go out, you have something to cook. And you still can get some heat. You're right. Teach today. Hello, teach them. I'm from the country. Okay, okay. What country? Alabama. Hey, you know how to cook, don't it? Right. I do. Rose, I know Rose you did. Yeah, okay. Rose Tide. Now this is gonna get Rose a little Tide. personal. Oh, Run it back, Kate Boogie. This is gonna get personal. Yes. Oh. Now I'm lying. A tinted oh. windows, or <laughs> would you like to get the fishbowl look? The fishbowl where you can see clearly through the car. Tenant windows tenet. versus fishbowl. Tenant. 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 Tenet. 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 I got to have my tenants out of my business. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Bath or shower. I like being ducked off. Shower. I like both. Both? Do I yeah. have to choose one? If you, if, as long as you clean, I don't care. <laughs> right, right. I'm not so judging really, you. Yeah. I like both. Okay, like both. so this was the personal one I had for you. If someone was mo- moaning in a sexual act, whether it was self pleasure or with other people, oh, yeah. would you listen, listen, or would you tune them out and complain about it? I'm listening. All right, you know listen? myself enough. I'm listening. Okay. He said, I don't know. I'm trying to see. You're listen for a minute, then I got to go on by my beard. No, I, I got to move on. I ain't going to say how long I'm going to listen, but I'm going to listen. We're not judging you. We're not judging you. I don't you. know how long, but I'm like, yeah. really Everybody yeah, got a little bit of freak in them, right? Just a little bit. Your tag. Yeah, Sunshine trying to avoid feet. the question. She's looking around. Oh, yes, we're talking to you. Uh-huh. No, I, they were talking. I didn't want to interrupt. Uh-huh. I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, hey. Would you listen or or would you tune them out and complain? Then complain. If I answer this question, it may incriminate, incriminate me, so... Uh, oh, <laughs> one of those. Uh, no, nah, really, I'm going to listen, listen. You're going to listen? I'm going to listen, too. Listen, I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen to I'm going to do this. Did you do it? Nuh-uh. She, no, nah, she not, not hot enough. Nuh-uh. No, nah, oh, I didn't do it oh, right. We got to put you out, house. <laughs> <laughs> you, you missing everything. Psycho. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so... <laughs> If you want to go get your test for your, your, your sex results, do you want to know instant results or do you want to let them call you or send you a letter in the mail? I would like instant. Mm-hmm. Mine instant. Okay, you want to know on the scene. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me know what's going on. That right phone call now. could or could not come through. Let me get mine instant. Yeah, I think I want instant too. Right. I got to go a week and think about what Right, you know, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Make what was phone Melinda? Call? Yeah. Like, I want to forget. So that I get that call? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's 
right. Thank Sometimes you. that car don't come through, especially if you got Sprint. Neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> and then last but not least, would you like to have sex with the lights on or lights off? Um, I like both. I Freak, like give me a red light. Oh, you like TLC? Yeah. Okay, red light. Red light's light still on, so I, cool. I take it's a red cool. light too. Yeah, because it's not too dark, too. not too bright, it's just right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I need you the lights on. Give me the green light. light. Mm-hmm. Um, let me turn all the lights off, including the street lights. I need a pitch dark. <laughs> 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 I don't need to see nothing. You just hear everything, every hard breathing you can do. All so right. I'm going to be reading Braille and it's like, <laughs> you better find Come Graham. find me. Find it. Marco Braille. Polo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kate Boogie, you can turn it off. We got to get Yay. into their minds a little bit about that because everybody want to know sometimes. That was fun. You know, I do what I can do when I do it. Okay. So, <laughs> again, if y'all want to call in and talk to the people, it's 203-802-5694. So, I will be bringing in a little bit later the actual writer and producer of the show so you guys can see the face behind this excellence. But right now, I definitely want to know um, if you can just plug the location, the time, the date of this event. We have a surprise for two lucky people. Uh, if you go and like the Facebook page, Ironic Stage Productions, it's spelled E Y E R O N I C Stage Productions. And if you go like Shiny B Entertainment's page, we will select the winner and make sure you hashtag in the comments office drama. We will pick two lucky winners to get free tickets to come see the showcase. So Sunshine, could you tell them when the show is the date location? Yes, it's August the 31st on a Saturday mm-hmm. at the Irving Arts Center. That is 3333 North MacArthur Boulevard, Irving, Texas. Be there. Doors open at 5 and the show starts at 6 on time. Promptly, please. Mm-hmm. Oh, snap. Come through. You fancy. Come through. Oh, Thank you for call. calling. Carla, what's your name? Hey, D in the building. Well, welcome to Shawnee's World. This is your time to tell us who's your cat. Who do you play on the um, as a character on the on the play? I play Kenzie. That's my bestie at work. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you're not physically here, but you're here. Um, I did ask a few questions for the game portion, but I'm going to ask you one vital question. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. If someone was having sex, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you could hear them having sex, would that be something where you listen and get aroused, or would you, you know, like tune them out and then complain about it? Oh, I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> oh, just my type of freak. <laughs> That's what's up. So we are going to basically, Sunshine or April basically gave us the directions of how to get to the show when it starts. It's starting at six. Um, is there a particular price range for these tickets? Yes, you can get pre-sale tickets for seventeen dollars. Okay. You can get tickets today at the show for twenty dollars. Okay. You can get VIP seating, which is separate from seating. You get a swag bag, and you get a meet and greet with the cast for thirty dollars. Ooh, y'all fancy! Y'all taking pictures and everything? There's a service fee, a dollar fifty for each price. Disclaimer: a dollar fifty. So don't be like, "Oh, it's just seventeen. It's gonna be a service charge." Okay, so. With that being said, I want to ask each one of you guys, and I'll come back to you um, and on the phone here, and then we'll kind of get an idea. What made you guys want to start acting? Or do you guys do something outside of acting, and now this is just a, another platform for you guys? Oh, oh, we go down line. Okay, so I have always been an actress. Um, I grew up an only child. Okay. So um, the number one, your best friend is yourself. <laughs> and you learn how to entertain yourself. Man. And um, the mirror is also your bestie as well. And television is also your bestie as well. So when you grow up and it's just you and just adults, they always tell you, stay out of grown folks' business, got grown folks conversation. Hey. Well, you yep. listen anyway, but you just listen quietly and you listen studiously. Uh, but uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, that's pretty much what started. I watch TV a lot. I enjoy certain, com- I love commercials. Like okay. a good jingle, a good jingle. Oh my that's gosh. You. That's me. Okay. I'm a walking musical, mm-hmm. I swear. Yeah. But that's pretty much what got me started was just, you know, just being the only child entertaining yourself. Okay, that's what's up. Down the line. Come well, on, Mr. Strong. Me and her, like, yeah. right here. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? You feel me? You got the same life. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, loners, I mean, uh, the only child, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we had to watch a lot of TV and you had to entertain yourself. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? 
Especially when nobody's around. So, you know what I'm saying? I always wanted to act, you know what I mean? Like you said, I watch a lot of TV and I just, it looked fun. It right. It looked fun to do, which it is. It's very fun to do. So, that's what got me into doing it. So, is acting it or, I know you said you have a, a, lot, a few things that you do other than that. So, is it acting first and then everything else or was well, it other things and then now acting? Well, really, music came first. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm a music fanatic. Are you a singer or a rapper? Rapper. Okay, dropping so, bars. Okay, yeah, that's so, right. Yeah, so, yeah, so music came first. The music was the first born. Then, then you hit us with the acting. Then it come on with hit the acting, the, the comedy, right. and all that. You know what I'm saying? Then they came. Okay, Mr. RJ. Well, you know, uh, she started with my brother on the block. You know. Okay, so you was telling them things. You know, I was selling some dope. You know what I'm saying? You did it from his Gladys. Oh, man, you know, okay. Miss Parker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My brother got shot, you know, he said, my nigga, you got to act, you know what I'm saying, so. This is what it was. That's where I came from. I can't say this show is not tapped by the FBI. I, ain't, I don't know you, uh, 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 Well, then, well, let me change my story. It's uh, a reward, I'm snitching. snitching. Well, I'm like them then. I, okay. I'm mean, like, my story the same. Same thing. story, good. I now, I actually, uh, I'm not the only child, but I'm like 13 years apart from myself, so I take it. Yeah, you kind of like, like so. Yeah. Same thing with y'all, like, watching movies. I got to the point where I was memorizing movies. So I could yeah. go ask them. I want to act them. Right. Yeah, but uh, I I do comedy. I do music and I act. But it's kind of hard to pick one. Like I think that's right. why I do all three of them. Like I don't, you know. But the first thing that came was comedy. You know, I was, uh, yes. but I would never get on stage. I just do it. Like you know, your friends tell you, "Well, you funny. You should do comedy." Right. Nah, right, I don't right, even right. have to do that. Come so. on, I invited you to the stage. I finally got bravery and get on stage. So yeah. But yeah, I just got into acting though, like a year ago. Okay. So, that's what's up. I, I definitely, after the first time, I, I fell in love with it. So. All right. Okay. And, Caller, give me an idea of your uh, come up through this this industry. Were you always acting, or did were you a singer first, a model? Me? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, I started off as a model, and then I got might be different you know okay. so i never done a play so that uh, i might get stage fright on there i don't know but really as get a down, kid i started performing at 14 so i really okay. never been I never yeah. been stage i still fright. get the jitters i, do. I get that I've been i do i get the jitters time. but i swear but, once you hit that stage man you nah. never ain't never scared you ain't never scared i write bone crush i miss bone crush she said she's twerking she said to her i know she's scared you know twerk is a whole different type of life twerk okay um, I'm with you guys. I think I still have that the butterfly effect in my stomach. Like, yeah. oh my god! But once you hit that stage Man. and you have a few shots, it's kind of like yeah. it, it evens out. Mm -hmm. Not you get drunk and you waste it, but just shots. like you got that nice little burn in your stomach. But um, the burn. it's just the the burn. <laughs> That's Burnett. That's cold for Burnett. I'm broke. That bottom shit. Red top. Bottom shit. Bottom shit. That bottom shit. Forget you. That'll burn all the way down. Okay. So before I bring in my other chairs. Where can people see you outside of this stage play? What else, that thing that you do, what else do you do so they can say, hey, you know, I'm going to support, you know, April and so forth? On the block. Well, I also do Tea and Whiskey with Sunshine. I have a podcast that airs every Wednesday on Facebook Live. Um, uh, I also do No Sense Media podcast that airs on Thursdays on Facebook Live. And um, I'm also on Instagram, Tea and Whiskey with Sunshine. Uh, we're also on Spotify, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, um, Himalaya. Uh, I'm just, right. I'm grateful. Yeah, I'm grateful to God busy. because it just that was just not in the plan. That was not in the cards. So I was right. supposed to like be like, like a, a really rich man's wife, mm -hmm. and I was supposed to have like 17 children, yeah. <laughs> and oh. um, all the kids were supposed to uh, be in college by now, and I'm supposed oh. to be living my best life in my furs. In Texas. <laughs> That's a big house. <laughs> I live at the mall, huh? But this is a better life. Okay. We ain't, ha we ain't hating on your 17 kids. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> yes, sir. How about you? Well, look out for me. Uh, you know, the office, the office drama play coming along. And I got a, um, 
is a uh, it's a TV series called Art of the Hustle, man. Shot by Ken and Tiller, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. So TV series coming out. Have mistakes on that pill. Progress is progress. That's out right now. So you go on that pill and get that right now. You know what I'm saying? He Check said right now. right now. Right now. Right now. You Today. know what I'm saying? Right. And from Mother Water to Concrete Junk, that was my first project. It's on there as well. And you know, my YouTube channel, man, I got videos on there. You're going to check my videos out. Follow me on Instagram. You'll see what we got going on. I got a lot more videos coming. So I heard that country come out and check my video out. Yeah, check yeah, my yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Together. Together. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. And Mr. Archer. And, um, uh, oh, go ahead. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That's it. The uh, Daughter of the Hustle, man. Another uh, TV series coming up. We're going to be a little set tuned. Y'all got all these places. Oh, the Daughter of the Hustle is going to be dope. It's going to be nice. That's sound dope. I like it. Sometimes the title gets you. Ooh, it's successful. Daughter of the Hustle, man. That's going to be dope. That title, yeah. Yeah. RJ, what you got going on? Where do people can see you at? Uh, they can see me Facebook, RJ Prince, uh, Instagram, RJ Prince underscore ENT, uh, YouTube, RJ Prince. Uh, I'll be doing some comedy tonight at the uh, Louis Louis Bar. Uh, All right. Yeah, you know, uh, coming out with, uh, with my first mixtape next month. Oh, you rap too? I, I, I rap. I'm okay, doing something. Some, a bar off. You know, some, something, something like that. I can't freestyle. I'm just. Jumping. You just, you already wrote it. Uh, yeah, I, I wrote it. Or oh, somebody else wrote it. <laughs> Ghost Riders count. I get Ghost Riders. Michael Jackson had Ghost Riders. I'm getting Ghost Riders myself, okay? I'm not about to sit yeah. there and play, play this game with nobody. It's how you it. Don't worry about who wrote it. I said it now. Look here. Okay. It. Right. And we got you on here, Mr. T Mrs. Twerker. Outside of twerking and, and, and popping and all that there, what else can they see you? Yeah, more auditions. Yeah, yes, it's getting, coming. I'm, I'm Cause people gonna see y'all faces and be like, "Oh, yeah. I remember him." Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Okay, so who is your favorite actor, actor or actress? Anybody? Oh, oh man. man. Well, just that one person that you can watch and be like, "Man, this is." Man, this I'm about to get to him. Like, special uh, legend, man, the OG that really came and put it in the work. I had to say first, like Will Smith. Okay. And, okay. and uh, Denzel Washington. A little you know Denzel. Do my you favorite. gonna do that to me? Yeah. Okay. Do my you. favorite, right? There. Special okay. Denzel. I should say that first, but. Okay. You gotta get the wheel, man. Them two cats right there, just, you know, every time they drop something, you know it's gonna pop. Right. Every sure. time they drop something. And they can do different roles. Right. They can, they can do it all. They can man. pretty much do it all. Right. So anytime they drop something, it's gonna hit. That's you? Okay. So, uh, April, who you got? Y'all have so many. Y'all gonna be like, oh my God, who? Do it, girl. No, no but my fave, one of my faves is Drew Barrymore. Okay, I, I can love Jamie Drew. Because I, I followed her career because we both the same age, you know what I'm saying? That is. And also um, Angelina Jolie. Okay. I mm. love her. And of course, the um, the amazing Angela Bassett. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. She's so oh, fine. Like, <laughs> Angela's yeah. hot. Yeah, Everything. I want her to play my mama. I just, one movie. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just want her to just give me an acting class. She is epic, man. Black don't crack. I just want to shadow her around. You just sit around, just watch her and just follow her and just, you know. I'd rather just do that. Make sure she know you following her. Yeah. Get permission. Could you please help me? Okay, okay. RJ, who you got? Ah, man. uh Samuel. I gotta give it to yeah. him. That's another one. Yeah. Yeah. James Fox. Oh, yeah, Jamie. Oh, uh, Jamie, yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. See, I just named a few. Yeah. Yeah. Jim Carrey. Yeah. Jim Carrey. Oh, uh, my God. I forgot about Jim Carrey. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler, yeah. Man, come on, oh, man. yeah. Adam Sandler, man. We, so we can go there. Man. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell was under. Yeah, he under. Yeah, he's yeah. under there. He's oh, stupid. Yeah. I love it. You know what? Now, at first I wasn't sure. Now I'm I'm actually loving Kevin Hart. Just the work he put in. Yeah, I mean, as, as yeah, yeah, he's like great. Acting, yeah, like he's doing it. A lot of people hate him, but yeah, I like him because yeah, he's versatile. Yeah. You can't hate on talent. Right. Um, I'm just so in love with Martin. Like that is just yeah, my dude, oh, Martin. Yeah, it's well, nothing he can't do. I watched Big Mama House the other day. I was like, this man was he's just epic, man. Martin. Eddie Murphy. You Eddie know, Murphy. And, oh, you, you know who I'm really gonna start getting credit to and looking out, man. Martin. Martin. I do to say Marlon Wayne. Marlon yeah. Wayne. Just all the way. That movie man. he put out. Not this one. Six, 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 I just watched it. You talking about? You can tell the work that dude put in that. Like that dude. He showed his ass in that movie. I fell asleep because I was. I had took some CBD juices. <laughs> no, bro. Marlon Wayne showed his yeah, ass in that movie. Says yeah. tough. I just watched it like CBD. yesterday. CBD. CBD. Oh, 
You mean like you mean like Belle Bill DeVoe? No, oh. no, I mean like go to sleep. Mm, <laughs> that means no. relaxation. We talking about these. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just about that down. That's night juice. Yeah. But yeah. So I tried to watch the last night and that kind of relaxes you not feel a sick. I thought you talking about new edition. No, we ain't talking about new edition. Stop somebody else coming out. Go back and watch it. I'm going to go back and watch it today. It's still upset. Did you forget? You know how Netflix pop up. And D, what what um who is your actor or actress that you follow? Yeah, they all we got. You know, a lot of people ain't acting no more. They Instagram famous now, so they not acting <laughs> no more. Give, give Dwayne Johnson his props, man. Oh, man. The Rock. You know, The Rock came away a long way. A long but when way. you're a wrestler, you are an actor. You so are it's kind of like you. Some of them can't, though. No, it was his. Some of them wrestlers. <laughs> It was his eyebrow that it did it for They like it. You know, Everybody like that some more, dude. It was oh, the yeah. eyebrow. Yeah, man. man. No, his last name is Johnson. You know what I'm saying? And the oh, eyebrow. Yeah. He gets it from his daddy. <laughs> That's the yeah, daddy eyebrow. Yeah. They ain't no Simone eyebrow. <laughs> that eyebrow come from That's his daddy. That's the daddy eyebrow. <laughs> That's the daddy eyebrow. That's the daddy eyebrow. I have a question for you guys. Because uh, when I hear office drama, we all work somewhere, have worked somewhere. And it's crazy because people are just so petty. People are so messy mm. in the workplace. Mm. Um... <laughs> You know, the two things that I learned about people, no matter how grown they are, they always going to gossip. Oh, yeah. And they always going to have a sexual relationship, which just messes up the job place. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all laugh. Man. Y'all laugh. Yeah. No way. So those what? are the two for me, but... <laughs> Outside of that, are those the same the same flows that y'all see in, in the building? Whether it's a call center, whether it's a club bouncing or whatever, do you see the same gossip and sexual relationships yes, amongst yes. that? Okay. No, yes. mm-hmm. I, at my job, they be having a whole other family. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. My, yeah. my job, you work a lot. Like, you work six days a week, so, so you don't even see your real wife. You don't, you just, yeah, you so you got a whole, 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 whole other wife, a whole other child. It's tough, man. You see the cooning. You know, they meet each other yeah. at, at your funeral. This is beautiful. Yeah, what it man. Is. Beautiful. Yeah. I just want to make sure it was universal. So I've had a few oh, yeah. work wives. It's, it's, it's great. Yeah, it was on it was. Somebody it happened at McDonald's right now. The coffee. Somebody get coffee. coffee. I get my tea. Coffee. Coffee. Get a little coffee. lunch. That is yeah. going on at McDonald's right oh, now. It's going Burger down. King or something. I'm the one that they come to and get a tea <laughs> too, and the tea stop with me. Like I'd be like, thank you for telling me, girl. And I kind of have my. My answer yeah. is up, but they, I'm not the one that spread the tea. They ain't even, even turn up at nursing home. Oh, I heard. Oh, <laughs> at the nursing home. <laughs> and, and no <laughs> place exempt. You know no how many closet exempt. doors they got in there? <laughs> you sound like you're doing some extra. I you're just know a lot of people that work. You, yeah, <laughs> sure. Somebody do a, a, a test, a swab yeah. test on him, please. Not a swab. Okay, nah. so we're going to change it up. I definitely want to yes. bring... Um, the head honcho up on the actual platform. Let him tell us about how he came up with this stage production. So, uh, he's not today? Another one of the amazing actors in the play. Oh, what was that, K-Boogie? Oh, okay. So, we're gonna have somebody else coming through. They come and they come and so give, give them time to come through the door. Now, I will say, what are your expectations for this play? Like, for the crowd to you guys either touring and doing this in multiple cities, what's your expectations? I definitely feel like we're gonna tour. Like I feel like it's gonna, uh, it's gonna surprise people. Okay. It's really gonna surprise people, and it's gonna make your side hurt. It's gonna, it's it's gonna make my side hurt. It's gonna make it's your side fun. hurt. I need it's to work on my obliques. The show yeah. is very fun. It's yeah. Very fun. Okay. And I, and I know you drink a lot, so you need to watch. Don't out put for that your out kid. there. Don't <laughs> put that out there. <laughs> <for your> <laughs> Don't start that rumor. <laughs> I said I drank last night. Yeah, and the night before. And nah, the night man. Before I'm that. an organ donor. I got to be real careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have to be careful. They need these organs. Mm-hmm. So, do you have any expectations? I really expect nothing but just greatness from this because when I when I read the script, I fell in love with the script. Okay, I was honored that you know I got the call, and so when I read who my character was, I was like, oh my god, they know me. Yeah. I was Man. so glad. It was so me. Okay. Like I, when I came in to, to do the reading of the script, it was yeah. like I just it just fell into place, and so I'm just excited. Okay, yes. okay, yes. and then. Uh, Mr. Rapper, Mr. Strong, you coming on? What, how, what do you have? Do you want to see a tour? Do you want to just? Oh yeah, man. Let's see crowd? a tour, man. And, you know, oh yeah, see a tour, like you know, saying get the Tyler Perry thing going on. Come there you on. go. You know, saying get out there and get it. Yeah, it I receive but it. But I see it being very funny, and people, like you said, gonna be surprised. It's gonna be a shock to people. Definitely. And they gonna, gonna see, see how it. funny it is. Well, I am gonna see it. Great. I got my tickets. Like I said, you guys, they're giving away two free tickets. The instructions are really clear. Two free tickets. You just go to the page, Ironic Stage Productions. It's E Y E 
R O N I C stage productions like that page. Make sure you put the hashtag office drama in the comments and then go to Shawnee B entertainment page, do the same. And then we will select the two winners and you guys can come and have your booties in the place. So you can see their face bars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <on vinyl. laughs> hey. Yeah, you got to do that. So y'all have met some of them and I definitely want you to meet again, the mastermind behind the play. So you want to go ahead and walk up. RJ, we're going to let them rotate you out there. We need to know who we got to thank for showing the people your face. All right. So now while we are getting this together, I want to again let you guys know, feel free to call in. The number is going to be 203-802-5694. So we good to go and we look like we ready to go. Now. I'm going to introduce, have you guys introduce yourselves and tell us the, the playwright of what you do for this production. Go right on ahead. I am Derek Huggins. Okay. I play Torrell, Toe office Rail. manager. Office manager. Of the slackers. Of the slackers. Okay, you said that with a lot of power. Yes. Torrell, how you spell that? T-O-R-R-E-L-L. Okay, toe rail. Somebody gonna name their next baby then. Watch I tell you. <laughs> All right, Quinn, who we have here? My name is Tanika Thomas, and I'm the director of the play. Oh, you better come on with that title. Okay, <laughs> come through. And then who do we have at the very end? Uh, my name is Christopher Boyd, and I am the writer. Nice. And I also play, uh, darn, that's crazy. I wrote the play, and I forgot who I play. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm playing MacArthur. Okay, so... What do you guys have as expectations for this stage play production? Expectations for people to have a good time. Okay. To laugh. Uh, we know that laughter is good medicine. So the content of the play is to lift your spirit. Okay, cool. And is it the same for you as well? Yes, everybody's going to have a good time. It's not a heavy play. It's a comedy. And it's about what goes on in a call center. Oh, don't we know? Mm. Ooh, mm. Lee, I wish mm. I could stop mm. working at one myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to say that because I got bills, Gina. Okay? So, can you tell us how you came up with this concept? And being a writer is difficult because you have to write not just for your, something that's identical to your personality. You got to write for other people to fill the script. So, how did you come up with the office drama stage play? Um, I didn't have a title at first. Uh, so I was just writing based on some experiences that I have. I currently work in a call center um, now. And so just things that I've seen, experienced, uh, not just in that call center, but different places. And so I just started writing about that. Uh, after we had finished the script, uh, then came up with the title, Office Drama. Okay, okay, cool. And how long did it take you to write it? Uh, it's about a year process. A year? Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then how do you how do you market this out to say I'm looking for this? Do you do like a cast role play or something? We did a we did a cast call. Was it tough picking the people? Um, no, we had. Uh, I originally just wanted people who really hadn't done a whole lot of acting because okay. there seemed to be more easier to work with than someone who's been in the business for a while. Right. And so we had a lot of people who had not been you know on stage, and so it was really good or a good, you know, group group to pick as far as to use for the play. Okay. And then we have the director. Mm -hmm. Woo! Can I say that one more time? We have the director. The director. You better praise him. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us your role in every single thing of this production. There's a list. She's like, let me see. Back in 82. I'm the one who brings his words to life. Okay. Yeah. That's basically my job to teach them how to move, how to act, how to um, pronounce words, how to make it, how to make them see the people see the character and not them. Yeah, that's, ta that's very much talent. Yeah, you know, I bring the color to a blank canvas. That's my job. Mm, she a bad girl. She mm. bad. Yes, she is. And she reads us. Oh, so have you act, have you acted before, or you just went right on into the director role? Like, is that more comfortable for you? Um, either or, but I, it's like you have to have an eye to direct right. somebody write a line, and what I'm gifted with, I can see that line being acted out. Nice. So, okay. Facts. Hmm. 
I'm kind of interested to see if you throw out a line and see if somebody can act it out. I'm kinda, <laughs> we got an actor right here. Do it, do oh. it. Go, throw out a line, just a random something. Just something coming across your mind. And let's see if he can act this out. Hmm. <laughs> the line is, is this a club? Let's see if, if he got what he got. <laughs> and no. <laughs> You're hilarious. That's what they tell I hear laughing, talking, and singing. But nobody's on the phones making money. Now, is this a club or is it an office? In mm. cut. <laughs> <laughs> he got in the pit. I'm so nervous. I'm sorry, boss. I didn't know what to say. You know, like, today, 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 today. All right. So when that's the eye that you would have, he you had a simple sentence. He brought character to that sentence, and you would say, "Well, you need to do X, Y, Z more, or you need to you need to push that out. You need to do body language. That's what you would do." Sometimes when you read a script, you can see a person and the character he's playing. I was like. Oh, dear heavens. Got you. You, you know, knew it. And the character uh, April is playing. I was like, let me inbox her because they are that person. They right. Yeah. And I think oh. it makes it easier. Like yeah. you said, she's playing a role that she lives every day. Mm -hmm. So it's easier. I've, I've never, I've, I don't think I could act only because I'm spontaneous. So it's like, it would be uncomfortable for me to get in a role and then play that role. If you if you have a good director, they can direct you to act and tell yeah. you what to do. Give me a line. <laughs> Give me a line. Let me see if I can do it. <sighs> um, you want something dramatic or something funny? Mm, dramatic. My my engineer said dramatic. Let's see. Okay, Let's test um, my gangster. Uh, <sighs> don't judge me, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Just say, I don't know how I'm going to make the ends meet. Oh, that sounds like my call I made to a company yesterday. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me see. Y'all can't look at me now. God, can y'all close your eyes? I'll be nervous. Talk hey, to Chris. You're going to have yeah. an audience. Talk to Chris. Yeah, he's he your husband. Okay. What's up, baby? I don't know how we're going to make ends meet. Yeah. Okay. That's one short line, but it is. Make I got it dramatic. Make it up. All day long, Chris, I've been working and I'm tired. I just, I don't know how we're going to make ends meet anymore. I just don't. And see. Y'all need to stop standing there. Y'all need to stop standing there. Ew. We, we, need to, we need to cut a check for you too. <laughs> Sometimes. You know, I, I still don't think I can do it. I, I got bad memory. So I went, y'all had to have a cue card telling me the lines. I'll be bad with it. Okay. Well, that, <laughs> that, that'll be, that's good. Maybe I might have to consider it one day. But I love the fact that, is it all the cast members African American? Yes. Yeah. And it's not knocking any other race. It's just, you know, we want to see a lot of us getting into acting and entertainment. And then the fact that you have such a well rounded staff, I love it. So I can't wait to say, I got my tickets. I'm not gassing you. I'm going to be in the front row because yeah. I got to pick my seat. I'm going to be in the front row on the end because people be like, excuse me, excuse me. And I'm yeah. like, I don't like this. So I got to be on the end so y'all can go the other way. But I'm interested to see. So, Mr. Torrell. Yes. How long have you been acting? Actually, this is my first acting assignment, but nice. like April, I have been acting really my whole life. I tell people all the time, I think that we all are actors to okay. an extent because none of us are 100% the same way in every situation. You know, you have that professional voice when you're talking to the bill collector. Yes. You're like, yes, um, yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, please, I'm trying. To. Yeah, you know, you have that, right? right. And then when you're with your homeboys, your homegirls turning up, you're a little ratchet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then with your with your mama, you know, you're a little, you know. So we all yeah. are always acting, I think. Right. And so, but um, like I said before, one of the things that I used to always do, I would get scripts um, offline, and I would just rehearse them, mm. you know, just to see how I could do it, you know? Right. And so I always um, imitate people like Medea and things like that. You can that. do a Medea voice right oh now? Oh my God. Yeah. Let me hear it, give us a line. Oh my God, stop it. <laughs> Just like in the Bible, in the Bible, Adam and Eve was in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yes, yes, Jesus was taking a nap and they was they was interrupting him and they woke him up. They said, will you please stop spitting your apple holes all over the garden? 
Okay. Yes, everybody was there. Everybody was there. Shadrach, Meshach, the Billigal, everybody was there. Read about it in the book of Jobs. The book of Jobs. You reading the book of Jobs? Yes, the book of Jobs. Hello? Yes, the lights went off, but I'm still on. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Martin Luther King wouldn't let me march with him. Mm. I was going to just take 13 guns to the march. That's all I was going to take. 13 guns. I was going to shoot up everything in there. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. No. Everything. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how do you get this voice? Like, <laughs> Well, like I said, it's just over the, I watch a lot of movies and yeah, TV. That's what you said. In case that's you can tell. Said. You know, remember like uh, Grandma Clump? Yes. She was like, and you can get a white wedding dress, young lady. Can you wear white? Of course, called Sherman. Right. Sherman ain't never had relations. Oh, you get all that man that's been built up for 35 <laughs> years. <laughs> just wanting and wanting and wanting. Woo! Might make your head blow off. I got my own self hot telling that I'm story. Just, I'm just taken back because I, it's always interesting to see somebody reenact somebody, but to hear the voice sound so much like the person, you can still have credit. You can yeah, still get credit. Sherman gonna have relation. Sherman gonna have relation. Yeah, all of that. Oh. So anyway, you just so over the years, just mimicking people in movies. Um, I think that just gave me a natural ability to do it. Too. Okay. So outside of Medea, yes. is there anybody else you can do? Yeah, yeah. You remember uh, old Mister from uh, Color Purple? Oh Lord! What is it with this Suge Avery? <laughs> she black as tar. You do watch a lot of headed and she got legs like baseball bats. Her <laughs> <laughs> own daddy won't even have nothing that to do with her. Is Put her crazy. out on the street when she was no more than a teenager. <laughs> Plus, she ain't clean. And I hear she's got that nasty women's disease. <laughs> and you remember this line for line? Yes. I, I got missed the line too. You ain't got it in you to understand. So I love Sugar. <laughs> always have, always will. Should have married her when I had the chance. Oh, yeah. Wow. And throw your life away. Wow, wow. Right wow. smarter my money with it. <laughs> so the award goes to, and you said this is your first time acting. I'm yes. like, Okay, <laughs> acting in Texas because yeah, no, you feel like you period. were acting somewhere else. No. That's pretty dope. Well, I appreciate uh, Chris and Taniqua for um, thinking of me and asking me to do this because I was a little nervous because like you, yeah. I have a problem with memorization. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I never really stepped out to do anything because I was always afraid of memorizing my lines. Right. But uh, Taniqua gave us some help, uh, some tips on how to memorize and so, you know. I'm getting there. Okay, so I will say to somebody that's interested in acting, whether it's, you know, like I said, from the social media side or in person, what advice would you give to them to, to just start taking a leap of faith on this? Get out there. Get out there. Try. With anything. I mean, if you don't try, I mean, you'll never know. Okay. So if you step out and go to a couple of auditions, try smaller roles, look for something that doesn't take a whole lot but allows you to get that experience, you know, it put you a step closer to where you're trying to go. So. Okay. And then from the director's point of view, do you have any advice for them? If you want to if you want to act, you have to be open to criticism. <laughs> oh, Can yes. you say that one more time? I don't think yes. people heard ah, it. Very true. Very true. Very true. <laughs> yeah. You have yeah. to be open to criticism. Absolutely. You can't right. be a person if, because of me, I'm a perfectionist, so I'd be like, start over, do it over. Right. And oh. you can't be like, oh. can't get frustrated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and get mad and you know you have to be a people's person you have to be vulnerable vulnerable um you have to like get along you can't be a diva or um you know you can't work with those like he said these people they never acted before and they came in open and willing to want to learn right and then i've been i've directed plays where I, you have people, oh, I went to college, da, 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 right. and get out there and freeze on stage. You have somebody <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's, that's never done it before. They get out there and they'll kill it, you know. So you have to be open to criticism, open to learn new things, and you have to be someone that's willing to be directed to do right. what the writer wants them wants to see on stage. The criticism part hit home because I think a lot of people, like you said, come in there thinking, oh, well, I've been doing this for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And they act like they cannot learn something new. And then when you tell them they want to say, oh, your production ain't nothing. I ain't had no complaints from X, Y, Z. So to hear you say that and tell the world this, that's deep. Because if you didn't get out of their uh, high horse. Okay, did you have some words of encouragement for the people that want to get into acting? So you said this is your first. You know, gave about seven people. 
You know, I'm so glad you asked me that Anytime. because everyone asks. No, I'm just uh, um, what I will say is, um, Tane- I will borrow what Taniqua said too because, like, even with Taniqua, um, I'll come in with an idea of what the character was, and she'll be like, Torea. Uh uh-uh, uh, you need to do this, and you right. know, to her point, you have to be open and willing to just take the direction. I don't think that's how I act. Uh-oh. She does. That's how she. Is. Top red. Oh, you know, so, you know, you don't. She be like, this. y'all, this play is coming up. Yeah. Look, this real. how she look. This I'm, how she look with her. Yeah. Y'all, this play is coming up. Yeah. For the most part, she is, but when she want to really get a point, y'all, like last night, we've had enough time to lollygag. Now this is serious. Oh. Is and that that's her face. Is that y'all and then she give us resting bitch face. Yeah. And she be like this. Oh, okay, we're going to, okay. Gotta you know how rest of this face where yeah. you just kind of pause and she, this is what she do. Mm. I told you she's a mother. Okay. No, she's great. She really is great. But I would say if you're, um, I would definitely say just be open to, um, like you said, criticism. Don't be afraid to just take the chance because you never know, mm-hmm. you know, and that's one of the things I'm really excited about. I don't know where this will lead. That is true. But I do see. feel like it will lead somewhere I want to go. Right. And that's why I'm here. So I'm excited to be here. Okay, well, you guys got it. I mean, they're telling you, again, they are taking a leap of faith of people that have careers doing certain things, other things, not necessarily just full throttle acting, but there's always a place for you guys to get the experience you need, but you do have to get out there. There's a lot of free places in Dallas and outskirts of Dallas that offer you different ways to go out and audition, but nobody owes you anything. So please go out there, give it your best, and you never know who's watching you. I tell people, govern yourself accordingly all the time. So, K Boogie, can we get to my altar call? As I was telling the rest of them, the altar call is basically something simple. People don't listen unless you have church music behind it. So, someone wrote in a question to me. I'm going to read it to you guys. And if you have some words of encouragement or advice for this couple, um, feel free to tell them. Yes, and he's going to get me queued up. It's going right now? Oh, I don't hear it. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be tonight. Um, question reads. My fiance wants to have a wedding and I don't. I want a small ceremony. She wants to use the $16,000 that I saved up for us to buy our home and for emergency funds. I've already spent $3,000 on the ring she wanted and that was from my savings. We can't seem to compromise. I'm willing to spend a total of $5,000 on the wedding, but she says that's not enough. What can I do? We shall start with you. Do you have any advice for the couple? Mm-hmm. Um, what you should do. Uh, I mean, talk it out until y'all come to an agreement. Right. Uh, if there's no agreement, then y'all might want to reconsider getting married. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Huh. Sometimes we think that and I- we're supposed to be with someone, but it's just the excitement of what's going on but if y'all can't work this simple thing out then how are y'all going to deal with things later on that's very true so this could be a telltale for you to see if this is the person you're supposed to be with you heard it Mm -hmm. that's the writer talking to you all right go right on here mr director (laughs) 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 yikes yikes Right. I'm saying people spent ten thousand dollars on the wedding. They be married a year. Mm-hmm. All this. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Come on, tall rail. What um, you got for the people? I think that it has to do with. I think the first thing in this case would be to compromise, mm. which will be a good start to the marriage, because a lot of times people are focused on the wedding but not the marriage, and so I think if you want to do both, you do the wedding. But you compromise. So if there's a fifteen thousand dollars that he say, then why don't we spend seventy five hundred on the wedding, which will appease her and kind of him, because it's not the full amount that they he saved, but it's also kind of close to where she wants to be, and that just I think will show her that you are really taking her needs or her desires into consideration. You find a common ground and you plan the wedding accordingly. Go off and live happily ever after. I have spoken. There you go. I will say y'all probably Cash need to go to marriage counseling. Cash out me fifty dollars. You gotta go get some marriage counseling because y'all already on the financial <laughs> side don't agree with what's going on. My God. Um, 
like she said earlier, you can spend, you can go bankrupt getting married. It doesn't mean that you love each other. It just means that you're flashing for people that's going to judge your wedding anyway. I personally did not go the route of having a big, big wedding. I was never really a big, big wedding type of person, but I had the bomb reception. Yeah. So uh, you have to really get your priorities together. Who are you really throwing this wedding for is right. what my question is. And if you can't compromise, you're going to have a rocky marriage. Um, you're probably not going to get past the annulment time. And I don't know how much it costs when you do the annulment, but it sounds like y'all going to get there. Uh, 16000 if that's all you have saved up, I'm not judging you. Um, saying, seems like you got a little bougie lady on your hands. 16000 ain't even scraping sky uh, sky uh, skyscraper. So you probably need to sit down, see how much she going to bring to the table since she's trying to judge your finances, and then uh, see if it's going to be something in the long haul. Because you still got to do the honeymoon. Um, you still got to get the house um, and plan, you know, whatever car, whatever trip you guys have in the future. And if 16000 is already almost done, because you said you're willing to spend 5000 you already spent 3000 you already at 8000 brother. Um, you ain't, what you got? Plasma? What you going to do to get the rest of this money? So Bills still come. When you get married, it don't stop. So unless both of you guys have additional emergency funds, 16000 isn't going to help your ceremony. It doesn't sound like it's going to be small with 16000 And then meet her needs of the ring and the traveling expenses. You might need to reconsider who you're marrying. Because like they said, I don't think this is love. This is all about money. What can you do for me? So, mm. you know, you know, these days people get married for the wrong reasons. They get married for the jewelry and the name change. It's half of it. Um, you still got to put up with that food. And I'm just kidding. You don't have to do that. But <laughs> <laughs> um, it is, it's difficult and it's challenging. But at the end of the day, love should be kind of one of those toppers. It shouldn't be the money and the ring that comes with it. But that's not it. So... We're winding down to the last part of the show. So I want you guys to tell them where they can find your information. If there's any future stage productions that you guys will throw, how they can get in contact with you. If they want to get down with your production, um, just let them know. And then we'll kind of spin back out to, um, you guys already basically plugged your shows and everything. So that's good. You guys can plug those and then I'll plug myself. And then we're going to chuck the deuces. Torrell, let them yes. know where they can find you if they need to see. I am on all of my social media at the mega mogul. T H E M E G A M O G U L. Look out for him, y'all. I don't think Find it's the first it. time acting. I don't. <laughs> he gave us multiple scenes. Now. <laughs> All right, and Miss Director, let them know how they can find. Well, you may want to stay low pro because you, you want to keep your excellence to yourself and then you kind of direct <laughs> out. But let <laughs> you say, yeah. <laughs> let them know about the production again if you have that information on hand, where they can get their tickets and where uh, the time show, um, the time of the show and everything. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh. <Urban> <laughs> no, it's at the Urban Arts Center. Okay. Um, it's uh, on the page. I run mm -hmm. stage production. Yes, it's I run a stage production. I spelled it for y'all earlier. It's a link on there. You can go click on the link and it'll take you where you can buy the tickets. Perfect. Um, we have plays coming up. We're going to keep on pushing them out. Okay. The next one we're doing is the one I wrote. Mm, we're doing the one before that. We'll do one before that, and then we're going to do a, a play I wrote. So they're just going to keep coming out, come out, audition when we put it out there, and okay. we're going to keep it relevant. So when they want to audition, do they go through a certain site to the audition, or do they just send in information to the uh, Facebook page? Yeah, we uh, we did um, a thing on Facebook, and then uh, all cast. We did a post on there as well. Okay, I'm going to send some of my friends to the page. I have some actor friends, actors and actresses. Okay. And then for you, um, is there any additional information you'd like to add to how they can contact uh, sure. you? Sure. Uh, our production company is Ironic Stage Production. Uh, if you guys are writers, directors, uh, musicians, and you want to be a part of the team, our goal is to get local writers, directors, producers together and collectively put in to make these shows come to life. Uh, I, the, I got the idea from, and no offense, Mexican families, they'll pile six families in one house and they'll build a house. Okay, y'all get out. They'll build another house. Y'all get out. Build another house. By the time everybody got a house, everybody's chilling. We, on the other hand, we're fighting. Oh, I'm going to be better than you or I'm going to be better than you. And I was like, why not all of us come together and put all of our thoughts, all of our minds, our uh, efforts, all that together so that we all can make money, so that we all can win. And so that's what Ironic Stage Production is. Uh, for directors, writers, those who don't may not have the knowledge, come on board. We'll teach you. We'll show you. We can be a family. We can make this thing happen. Uh, I'm a fair person, so I just ask for you to be fair uh, with that. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Ironic Stage Production. 
Uh, also on uh, Instagram. Are we on Instagram? <laughs> on Instagram, Ironic Stage Production. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Christopher Boyd. Uh, I do graphic design as well, photography as well. Uh, I write music, sing music. Oh, I'm a massage therapist as well. You need a little rub down. I can write you a song, sing you a song, and rub you down all at the same time. <laughs> I got a reality show you, called The doing? Moguls of Dallas. YouTube us, praise God. Okay, hallelujah. Uh, I do websites, praise God. Yes. Do website, yes. You I do all that. I do credit business. repair. Who? Oh, okay. The bomb too. Okay, he got you. Ask somebody. Oh, oh yeah, he he'll Ask take somebody. good care okay. of you. I'm the real deal. You the holy deal. My, yes, okay. I'm the real deal. If you want your credit repair, call me. Okay, one eight hundred four three zero zero one nine four. You can go to my website at Avidity Consulting Services. Okay, that's my Facebook. Instagram and Twitter. You want to go to my website, www.aviditycs.com. You see how he put it I will get your credit words? together. I don't just, listen, I don't just factually dispute the things off your credit, hey. but I educate you and I coach you. Mm, I'm going to teach you step by step the steps that you need to take to perfect your credit score and file because just having a high score is not enough. You need a diversified credit file. You better come on, commercial. I got you. I'm the credit player and witness. the credit champ. I'll be a witness. He fixed yeah, my he credit. So. Yeah. Because we was on a break or something. Oh, he I didn't. came in a room the whole board. board. <laughs> <laughs> he, did, he didn't start in the class. Wow. He didn't. <laughs> credit class. <laughs> he jumped in the credit. Come on, I'll get your credit right. I will. Yeah. I'll get you right. Real well, time. there you have it. Like you said, everybody's supposed to win. Everybody's supposed to eat. So that's why I wanted to bring you guys here. We let the city know who you are because a lot of people want to find things to do in the city and they don't know. So to hear that there's a stage play and you guys are open to showing people the way, this is awesome. What about people that write books and stuff and have characters in their books? Is that a place where they can come to your website? Definitely. Okay, can. I got somebody write like uh, sexual novels and you might can bring her novels hey. to light. You know, there's a lot of freaky people oh. in the building. Hmm. At this building. Um, <laughs> so, um, I definitely want to tell you guys thank you for coming out. Again, we're giving away two free tickets. Free. You're free. You don't have to pay. You know, somebody got to say that twice. Make sure you go to this Facebook page, Ironic Stage Productions, E Y E R O N I C Stage Productions. Like that page. Go in the comments, hit hashtag office drama, and then do the same for my Facebook page, Ashani B Entertainment, and then we'll select the two winners. We'll get in contact with you. You have your two tickets now. It's not going to be like um, coming up and meeting us nowhere. You're just going to pick them up at the box office. But we want you guys to come out and enjoy this. I will be there live in the flesh. For me, my name is Shawnee B. If you guys do not know, catch me on my website. You can get all of your fan gear, merchandise, and all of the above. ShawneeBEntertainment.com. Catch me on my morning lives. Or, excuse me, I got a promotion. Catch me on my afternoon lives, Shawnee B. E. N. T. My YouTube, Shawnee B. Entertainment, is popping. And uh, tonight I have a comedy show in downtown Dallas. It's like right where the Richardson and Dallas line meets. But it's Boogie in the Building presents Laugh and Love R&B and Comedy Showcase. Tickets are being purchased at the door. Come out and show the kids some love. I'll be hosting that thing. Without further ado, you definitely got to show the studio some love. KMWI-media.com is an alternative to TV. Y'all come out here and support us. Y'all tune into us. Keep us in spirit. Go like our pages. Outside of it, y'all all be blessed in y'all careers. Never forget where you came from. Remain humble. And uh, don't let nobody make a fool of you out in these streets. I am out this thing, y'all. It's your girl, Shiny B. Peace. <laughs>